Welcome back to Common Sense with Freddy, with Coach Wilfred Asuko. Again, if you're just joining us for the very first time, I am a capacity builder. I am also a certified John Maxwell coach. I'm also a public speaker, and the founder of Zit Worldwide. And above all, I'm an IT consultant. I work in the tech space here in the United States. So how's it going, guys? So I'm sure you are enjoying most of our content. And just in case you haven't joined the community, use the red subscribe button below this video to join our community. We also have several IT certifications, trainings, and coaching that is ongoing. Use the link below this video to join any of our classes and reach out to us for any of our services, and we will help you up to speed, especially if you are seeking to make six figure in the IT space, definitely. We have several opportunities, bootcamp, masterclass, that can show you or guide you or enable you to make an informed decision. So today, I am going to be talking to a specific set of people and those are those young graduates who just passed out of college. If you're just graduating, this video is for you. If you're just graduating from college, I need you to gather here and let's have this conversation. So I want to start by sharing with you my experience as a young graduate from college. And like I've shared here before, time and again, I studied industrial chemistry. In fact, specifically, I studied applied chemistry at the Federal Polytechnic at Doigeti. Now, upon graduation, I never secured a job until like after three years. That's what that was post NYSC. So it was quite tough for me. But why I was waiting for that opportunity to come, I had several things that I was doing. I had several opportunities that I was pursuing to keep my body and soul together, including running errands, um, doing domestic chores for people, at least for me to get some few stuff to support my existence. Until finally, I was able to land a job as a crew member with Arik Air. Now, before I landed that job, I had plans, I had dreams, and I had aspirations. One of it was to travel out to study abroad. I mean, go for my master's. But when I joined ARIC, priority shifted. I pivoted towards studying to become a pilot, which I see that as well as capacity building. So. I channel all my resources, all my energy into pursuing that dream, becoming a pilot or pursuing for my graduate program. So here I was, I was able to secure admission. I came to the US to study piloting. After completing that program, I found my way back to college to study masters of science of healthcare informatics that increased my capacity the more and upon graduation i wasn't getting traction on how to get a job i pivot back to doing or sitting for several it certifications to grant me or to enable me gain the traction and visibility and interviews that landed me my first job as a business and data analyst so you can see from post graduation I invested so much in capacity building and increase my capacity, my well of knowledge and increase my opportunities where I can easily get a job either in aviation or in the IT space. So I am talking to you today because as of today now, I have grown my career skill set, my capacity to the point where I have about 31 IT certifications. I have worked as a business data analyst. I have moved on to work as an agile coach. I am currently working as a product manager. At some point in my career, I put a stop. I left work for about a year. I focused on Z Worldwide project. That's my personal hustle. And I can tell you for a fact, I made far more money than working for anybody. 
and I decided to go back to, to work um, space again. And I still got a very high position because my capacity quite very large. My skill set trending and top notch. So my question to you now is, when you graduate as a fresh graduate and you get a job, should you lose that job? Would you get a new one? Should you be fired? Would you land a new job that will pay you the same amount you were paid, being paid or possibly something higher? Now, I see several young clients or several mentees upon securing their first job. Their first choice is to go get married. That's not the best decision. Even if your parents are encouraging you to, are you sure you have the financial capability to sustain that marriage? Are you sure you can be able to sustain the challenges that will come should you lose your job? Can you secure a new one to sustain? I see a lot of young people who are rushing to get into some investment with a very significant minimal amount. For example, you are going to buy some lands in some remote areas in your neighborhood or in the state where you live. And sometimes before you're going to be ready to develop that property, someone else would have bought off the property. Is that really what you want to deal with? I see some of you making some wrong choices to invest your little money in forex or cryptocurrency. That's not what you should be doing. That's not what you should be thinking of. What you should be focused on is increasing your career capacity. Increase your well of knowledge. Expand your horizon. Why don't you seek to increase your credentials? Most importantly, why don't you go for global certifications? That's exactly what is going to sell you. Considering the economy of motherland Nigeria today, if you're not earning in a hard currency, how do you beat the inflation? If you're not earning in a high currency, how would you be able to sustain your immediate family? I'd like you to think about this. As a young graduate, make plans to obtain, purchase, acquire a very nice, sophisticated laptop. Why don't you obtain a moderate phone? These are two resources that will enable you to navigate life and start life effectively. With that laptop, you can get to start a wonderful career even before you secure a job. You can start making money online remotely with all these enabled skill sets to be able to help grow your career. I'd like you to think about these few things I've shared with you. As a young graduate, don't make the mistakes that I see that are very common. I did not. I'd like you to look at what I have shared with you and give it a second thought. As ever, see you all at the top because the bottom is crowded.